Hello, DJs. Um, I have been and come back from Paris. Um, I am really, really sorry. I said I would film whilst being out there. That was near on impossible. I didn't want to spend the whole trip looking through the camera. And as it was, we both took a lot of photos. We took over a thousand, I think, which is more than what we took for New York. Which is slightly scary. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to spend the whole holiday walking around with my camera like this. Um, I tried, I started to, I did try, um, but there were just so many people and it was really warm and I just thought, you know what, you, you can imagine what Disney's like, you can imagine, and photos do give you like a sense of what it was like, so I do apologise that there was no videos of it, um, but I'm back, I've been back now uh, since Monday, um, I had work Tuesday, yesterday, today's my day off, and then in a week from today, we go away to Manjoti, so I'm a little bit all over the place, I'm not quite fully with it yet, um, because holidays, like, they disrupt my routine, so you, you get into a routine, and then you come back and you're like, wait, what was I doing, how did I work, how did I survive, so it's taken a while to adjust. I still haven't unpacked my room, um, in fact I've got all my souvenirs here to show you what I got um, and I thought you know what I'll do this video at the same time of doing that just because then I can fully sort my room out because it is a tip. Behind me looks relatively okay, nothing much has changed, but everything in that area and everything in this area, you would laugh if you saw it, seriously you would. Um, you may be able to tell, I don't really know if you can. I am slightly tanned. <laughs> we were not expecting it. Um, so we looked at the weather forecast just before we went and it was rain, it was thunder, it was lightning predictions. So we thought, great, let's buy Max, let's buy, you know, Wellington boots. Um, we didn't actually buy any boots, but we should have done. Very first day, so Thursday, we travelled up there, arrived in Paris about three-ish, I'd say we were a little bit delayed. Um, got to the hotel, fine, um, no problem. Got to our room, unpacked, um, and we went straight back out again. Now, we planned to do the Eiffel Tower on Thursday evening. We thought, we're going to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and most of Monday in the Disneyland Park. So, there's no great loss if we go somewhere else the full third day and I tried to see it um, for a school trip a while ago and we never made it up there. I saw it and we were standing underneath but we weren't allowed up and Haley has never seen it. So we thought it would be quite a cool thing to do that's non-Disney related, still get some good photos. Um, so we bought tickets in advance. Every day that we were there that day was the day it chose the thunder, lightning, hailstorm, monsoon rain and just about everything. It just didn't snow. It was hideous weather. We were so unlucky. Um, so we made it from the hotel into central Paris. Um, we stopped in a McDonald's just to get something cheap and quick to eat. Um, and that's where after McDonald's, we both made our first purchase because we'd done research um, so Hayley wanted an Eiffel Tower charm for her Tiffany bracelet um, now I'm really glad she didn't go for that because we didn't get to go off it um, so that would have been awful to have spent that money prior and then realised that we never actually went off it so she bought a star in the end which she's had on her wish list for a while so it wasn't a waste of a trip like she still got something and I made my first purchase um, of something Tiffany and just something of the whole um, whole trip. So it wasn't Disney related, wasn't even technically part of my Euro spending. So I put it on my credit card um, just because it's such a, a valuable item that I didn't want to just pay cash with it. I didn't want to take that much cash into Central Paris either. Um, so I bought a Tiffany net. I don't know if you can see it. 
see that. So it's got two little hearts, it's got their signature blue colour. And then on this one, it says Tiffany and Co. Return to New York because New York is their original store. Um, it was like their first ever. So it says, please return to Tiffany and Co. New York 95. So that was their first ever store. Um, now I was wearing this, but I took it off to show you. It came in its little blue bag, which is the same colour as the blue necklace. Uh, and I've still kept the box. I don't know if you can see the box. Because I've got my Pandora bag. Um, and one. No, I don't even have. I don't even have a Pandora box anymore, but the Tiffany box is special because I'm not going to be buying Tiffany stuff all the time. But I purely just want it. Is. Um, this isn't working. I might have to leave it off. Why can't I get it on? Right. Jesus. And my eyes were like in the back of my head, and oh, it's um, I've only got one heart. It was really, really warm um, today, so I am actually in shorts and a t shirt, and it's really warm filming this video because up in our attic, it's like a sauna in the summer, and then the North Pole, ice, cold pole, whatever is coldest in the winter there's no in between temperature you're either sweating or you're freezing no in between um so i apologize if my head is like gleaming a little bit not much i can do about that um okay so tiffany was my first purchase and i'm now wearing it um so we after not being able to get up the eiffel tower because part of the reason why we didn't was because we saw the thunder and the lightning we really judged didn't we saw the thunder and lightning and ran into a shop to take shelter and we just didn't think it was worth it so we paid the money um, but we couldn't even find it that's what was more annoying and um, like we were using the maps we printed off originally and um, and we just couldn't find it so I think we just took a wrong turning on this massive roundabout this roundabout had like eight turnings um, and I think we just came out the station and took the wrong one so when we made that mistake and we'd kept going and we'd then done a couple of rights and left, we were so lost that I just don't think we would have found it on time for the book, for like the booking slot we asked for. Um, so I said to Hayley, and my stomach was hurting a bit at the time. I said to her, I just really don't think it's worth it. Like, what if we get, what if we do get there and then get told that you know they're shutting it because of the bad weather? Because surely they wouldn't let you all the way up on a metal structure if it's thundering like it. That's a bit dangerous. Um, so anyway, we, we didn't go. Um, it was quite sad uh, and a little bit of a bad way to start off the holiday because it was something that we couldn't do. Um, we couldn't find it. We were drenched. Like we we were just like, okay, great. Like let's hope the rest of the holiday is better because obviously if it's raining every day like that, then there's going to be some things that are going to be less enjoyable or I don't know. So. We took it as just a bad, bit of bad luck and um, went back to the hotel and woke up early the next day. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So we had four days in the park, bought park hopper ticket. So it meant we could go from this one to the studios. Um, and we also, because we were staying in a Disney hotel, like it was on complex, um, we got extra magic hours. So the park opens for the general public at 10. If you're staying in a Disney hotel, it opens at 8 for you, so you get two hours free to like roam around the park. Uh, there's certain characters that you can meet in those times. And there's certain rides that are open, not many, there's like eight that are open. Um, but in hindsight, the amount of time you actually spend queuing for things, that those hours really did come in handy. But on day one, what did we do? 
what did we do? I can't actually remember. Um, bear with me one second because I'm just going to get her up. What am I going to get up? Day one. Okay, so day one was kind of new to us. We were just doing lots of different things, looking for the different rides and stuff. Um, so we met uh, Goofy and Pluto, Donald Duck, Minnie Mouse, uh, Chippendale. Uh, did we meet Mickey Mouse that day? I don't think we did. No, and we met Jafar. So I can't remember if we met any other characters or not. So I'm only going on my photos. Hayley's got more that she's going to be uploading today to Facebook. Um, but they were the main characters we met that day. So we spent quite a long time queuing for them. Um, but, you know, it was really nice. It was good weather at the time. It looked like it was threatening to rain, but it was actually okay. So because that was our first day, we wanted to do, like, what the program told us was available to do. Um, so there was a Princess Sports. There was a Welcome to... Main Street show, I think, which was, uh, I think that's what it was called anyway. So Mickey and Friends, um, and they kind of sing, they dance, and Mickey comes out. Um, and there was also the Stars on Parade, which was floats. Um, so we did all three of them that day. Uh, they were only probably about 20 minutes on each. Uh, but, you know, you had to get that early if you wanted a good view and things like that. And... I'm not joking, I know you You probably were like, why did you cry? Um, but the Princess Waltz is one of the videos that I put up on Facebook. And the first time I saw it, bear in mind I was taking photos. I didn't actually record that one because I didn't know how good it was. Um, but I was taking photos throughout it and I left with tears in my eyes. Like, it was so, so good. Um, and we kind of walked away thinking, did that really just happen? And it got to later on in the day and I was like, well, what was, what was the Welcome to Main Street one? Like, I couldn't remember the previous show because the walks were so good. Um, and it was so good that we saw it every day, for every day we were there. Um, and we would have probably seen it more than that if we could, but there was still just other stuff that we wanted to do. Um, but we did see a show of it every day. Um, which is why we went back and I then recorded one uh, and then recorded like a bit like there's a certain bit of each one which is where the princes come out I just, I adore it, I adore it I don't think the princes get enough credit um, and it made my heart melt um, and then on the last day, the very last day I didn't have a camera in my hand I just watched it and I soaked it up and I loved it and um, so we did all three of those off of our programme. Um, we also went on rides, um, kind of like the typical, uh, the Spinning Tea Guts, uh, Peter Pan's Flight, which ironically we tried to do that day um, and we were queuing and it broke down. Um, so we abandoned it. We were waiting for about 10 minutes and there hadn't been a new announcement. So we abandoned that. Um, so we did Tea Guts, we did uh, what else did we do? Pinocchio, Snow White, we did It's a Small World. Um, and all these queues were probably about 40 minutes or so. But you do spend quite a lot of your time just queuing for things. So I did get quite patient um, by the end of it. Like I'd learned to control it a bit. Uh, there were people who were still just like skipping or trying to skip the like, queues and stuff. And you're just like, what are you doing? Just wait in line. Um, but never mind. Um, so we had a really, really good day one. And in terms of in the park, I didn't actually buy anything for myself on day one. I thought I'd buy other people their stuff first. Um, just so that then I knew how much money I've got left over and things like that. So I bought Becca because no one's really like Disney-fied. With me, I just wanted to get them something subtle. Um, so this is for Becca. Um, so it's basically a B key ring with Mickey attached to it. And I've actually got um, a K version, and I've had my one 
since I first went to Disneyland, which was in 2008, 9, it's one of them. Um, so that's when I first bought myself my key ring. Um, and I thought, it's kind of subtle Disney, she doesn't have to use it, but it's quite small so she can always keep it if she wants to. Um, so I bought that for her. I bought an Olaf key ring for Gemma, my cousin. Um, I wasn't actually going to get her anything, but when I last saw her, which was probably just before I left, um, she said, I'll bring me back something. And I was like, oh. Well, that's a bit rude like okay um and so I look for like not the cheapest thing but just something small that because again she's not a Disney person so I think she just wanted to go on holiday um then excuse all the really loud and back in the next gift was for a girl at work um she was covering a few of my shifts, I was covering a few of hers, um, and like our friendship has kind of grown a lot. And uh, I said to her, she was having a really bad day, I said to her, just the day before I left, oh don't worry, I'll bring you back something. And she asked, what would I get her if I could get her anything? I was like, oh, I think I'd get you a chip cup, because she's always breaking things. Um, one of her favourite movies is Beauty and the Beast. So I was like, it's quite appropriate to have a chip cup. No, they did not. So the closest thing I could do, and I still think she'll appreciate it, um, is the mice from Cinderella. So we've got Gus here and we've got Susie here. And they are in one of the Mad Hatter's spinning teacup rides, um, which is really cute. And it was fairly inexpensive. It is really cute. If I... If I liked Cinderella as much as I think she does, I'd probably keep it for myself. Um, but I don't need it. So it can either be a sitting down ornament, or she can hang it on a tree, whichever. Um, but she does love Cinderella as well. So she's quite a classic person. She doesn't like the new ones, really. Um, that. So that was day one. Um, now they did have like a nighttime parade, but we didn't do it on our first night. We were so tired and we were still quite wet from the day before that we just thought, you know what, we won't do it yet. Um, we'll kind of we'll wait and see. Uh, so day two, which was Friday, I think. Was it Friday? It was Friday. Um. Day two. Day two, we went to the Princess Pavilion, um, which is like a special kind of a special place, I guess, um, where you purely just meet princesses. And they used to do it so that they had two on at a time, but you wouldn't know which one you're going to get. So they'd tell you, oh, it's. Um, they wouldn't always tell you, actually. Sometimes. Uh, Sometimes they'd say, oh, it's either Snow White or, and they'd never say who the second one was. Um, and that's how I remembered it. But when we went, uh, just gone, it was just one person from like 10 till, say, half two. And then it'd be a new person from half two till like quarter past seven. It was really weird because it meant that the queue was twice as long because they weren't getting through them as much. Um, so anyway, we queued. And it was Snow White. And we thought, well, well, we'll get a photo, we'll get a photo. And they were really, really sneaky. Um, because it was purely just a professional photographer in there. They wouldn't let you take um, your own photos. So if we wanted to keep that photo, it meant, <laughs> meant we had to buy it. And we were a little bit put out with that. Because Snow White, yes, she was the first princess. But she's not either of our favourites. Um... So Haley's favourite is Jasmine, mine's obviously Ariel, and then I'm really, really, like, her and Ariel, Rapunzel and Ariel, I should say, are my two favourite, and I do constantly not switch between them, but there's probably, like, only a 1% lead with Ariel, like, I love both of them, um, and Haley would always rather see Jasmine, but then if she had to pick a second, it would be Cinderella, so 
we were a little bit put out that we had to buy the Snow White picture. Um, but we thought, you know, it's a nice picture. We'll split the cost. We'll only get one. Um, then they had a deal that said, no, you can't just buy one. You have to buy two. Um, which was like 20, I think, or 26. I was like, well, we don't want two copies of the same photo. Um, and he was like, well, you can have um, any of the other photos that you've already taken. So with all the characters that we did the day before, there was a professional photographer at them. But we asked them to use our photo, like our camera as well. Um, so we picked one of Donald Duck and we picked one, the one um, with Snow. And he recommended at the time that we got a photo pass. And we kind of shook our heads because we discussed it before going. We both decided we'd rather spend the money on like gifts and stuff for ourselves. Uh, but lo and behold, <laughs> we ended up buying one. Um, purely because I don't, I can't remember when we saw it. We had like, so when there is a professional photographer, they all give you like a little card and they say scan this at the end um, to see all your photos. Uh, and I must have had about 10 of them, I think. And so then once we paid for, that was it, once we paid for these ones, um, we were like, oh, maybe we should have done the photo pass. Uh, we went to dinner and discussed it and said, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. The next opportunity we get, we'll try and buy one of these as long as we can put all the photos that have already been taken of us on it to make it worth it. Because this was 60, 60 euros. Um, and it is worth it, personally. I think it is. It's a shame that we got conned into buying... We didn't get caught. He did try and tell us that this is worth doing. Um, but I just don't think it was very well explained, like, how beneficial one of these is. Um, so it's a shame that we lost the 26 because that could have gone towards this. Um, but nevertheless, what it is, is they give you a card on a lanyard. And every time you see a professional photographer, she scans the barcode bit. Um, and then basically all the professional prints are then on here. And... You can use it for a 10 day trip, I think. I don't know what happens if you stay for like two weeks. I don't know if you have to get two, no idea. Um, but at the end of the holiday, she was like, the instructions say, um, like there's a website, you put the code in and you can then download all the photos. You can then also print them or buy them or put them on a mug, like whatever you choose to do. Um, and we purely just wanted the files. We didn't wanna, we didn't wanna make an album just from them or anything. Um, but we have a total, I think, it's like 88 photos on here, I'm just about to check. 88, yeah. 88 photos on here, and they were trying to sell two for the price of 26, so I can't do the math. Um, you, you probably can, uh, but well worth it. So that was like, it still wasn't a present for me because I wasn't expecting to buy it. Um, but nevertheless, we ended up with it. Okay. Um, so yeah, so on day two, we did that. We did the Princess Pavilion. We met Mickey Mouse for the first time. Um, we went over to the other park and we saw Mickey Magician Show. Um, which was again really really good but you weren't allowed to take any photos um, so it's kind of hard to do that we what else did we do we went on Dumbo and um, we met King Louis it was really weird because at some of the character meets um, they say like who you're going to meet on the sign but it wasn't always the person on the sign so for example in the program it said meet Aladdin and friend and it tells you where to beat them. So we went there on our first day and it was Jafar, so it wasn't Aladdin. But as long as it's like film orientated, they consider it still the same thing. So we went to meet Baloo with King Louis, but we still met him. Um, he was still lovely. Uh, we had just a couple of random like photos taken, went on a boat ride with like miniature castle scenes and stuff. Um, and Haley's dream actually came true because we met Aladdin 
and you have no idea how much oh she it was like meeting your hero um so i felt it when i met Oli Maz, felt it when i met ariel so i can only imagine how she felt it when she met aladdin um and it was really funny because we were in a queue for me and hook to meet them and she was like kelly it's aladdin kelly it's aladdin and i was like h calm down like we'll see them um and uh we were really close to the scene hook and smee and she was just pulling these puppy dog guys and was like okay let's go and see him so we went we queued we saw him she spent about 15 minutes with him and you're not really meant to spend more than like a couple of minutes if you're adult um but he was really really chuffed that she was so fangirl like i guess um so that was lovely um and in his honor she bought herself it was a lamp necklace um which was really really nice really nice um so again we saw the waltz that day uh we gave the welcome to main street show a miss um but we did see illuminations which is the nighttime um what do you call it like where they project images onto the castle and then do fireworks uh that's what they do when the park closes and that was again lovely to watch um and we got really lucky because we were there for so long it meant we could choose two different places to see everything um so with the walks we kind of we had our best spot and we always try and make sure we got to the same spot because it was front row it was high up could see exactly everything um with the parade and the fireworks we were quite near the front um on both occasions so then the next time around we decided to step one back just to try and get it from a different perspective just so the photos weren't always the same um it was really good uh i can't actually remember what day i bought these um but before i went i kind of went with a list of things i wanted to get and one of them was a steamboat mickey now he's not actually very big he is really really small like he's not that big but um i couldn't have a mickey without many and i just think we were destined for bad luck um we really were because so the eiffel tower nonsense happened and also on our first night Haley thought we didn't have any electricity in our ho in like our hotel room trying to plug things in and it wasn't working I had to call the maintenance man he came and fixed it um but it was just all a bit of a plaza and then the pan ride didn't work um and then we went looking not looking looking like every shop we'd go into um but i'd be keeping my eye out for these mini was really really popular mickey could not find for the life of me um and I was still at this point, I was kind of, I mean, an ahhing about like what to get. Um, because I, I knew I wanted a certain set for Mickey and Minnie. Um, so these were just kind of a, I'd like them, but I don't, I don't need, need them. Um, but because I hadn't made my mind up about the others, I was like, well, there was this one and one other. And I was like, I can't leave it because what if they both go? Um, so I literally, I, I had to pick them up. I just had to just so that I could have him um, and now that I've shown you I can cut their tags out in a bit and I can find somewhere to fit I think I'm going to place them next to the original mini which is like there and then Vicky oh my god Vicky's like over there I think I'll try and sit them like both in each other's lap just to like space it but like I said they're not very big they're probably like 10 inches or something like that and they're really soft and they're really cute I'm really happy that I got them um so the next thing not only were we queuing for character meets and character rides or just rides not character rides um we also had to queue for food we really did um like there was wait times everywhere and because we weren't going outside of the complex it nobody else was either um so we just kind of had to suck it up and wait in line uh, and one restaurant that we went to in particular 
we were queuing probably for about an hour, um, which was crazy because it was eating into the time that, you know, we wanted to do everything else, but we knew that if we left, then we'd just have the same problem somewhere else. So it was just better to stay in line. Um, but while we were queuing and getting very, very bored, um, <laughs> we saw that they were advertising special straws. And the straws were like, it was a straw, but then they'd have like a figurine attached to it. And there were two options. There was either a Tinkerbell one in a blue dress, which was anniversary coloured, uh, and a silver rim that said 25th anniversary. Or there was a Mickey one, a Mickey and a Minnie in their blue outfits. Now, and again, it says 25 here. I was quite gutted, really, that the plushes, there were no blue ones. Um, and I don't know if that's because the 60th anniversary in California, I don't know if it's because they'd released the plushes in that colour. Now, I still think they're, like, quite different. I think these ones are a lot darker blue. Um, but I'm wondering if Disney just thought, well, they're too similar, no one's going to want to buy the same thing twice, um, let's do something completely different. So they did do a different outfit for the plushes, but because I met Minnie in her blue dress, the big guy, Mickey wasn't wearing his, but he was in one of the shows, so I did see them both in their outfit, and I wanted something to kind of like remember it. Um, and, you know, I got rid of the straw, I don't need the straw, it sits flat by itself, it's just a really cute little figurine. Um, and it reminds us that we queued an hour for food, so it wasn't even that much food, I think, I think it was like hot dog and chips. It was nothing fancy, um, but still, the queue was just enormous. Um, so, what else did I then get? Um, I've lost track of the order, like, completely, but never mind. Um, so that was kind of like day two. Again, it was a really good day, and the weather had massively improved, um, even in day one of Disney, it was okay, like there was a mild shower, very mild, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough to stop us from doing anything. So day three, which was Sunday, we saw the waltz again, um, so that was our third showing of the waltz, and um, we also saw the parade for the second time from a different angle, and, um, was also the day where Rapunzel and Ariel were both in the Princess Pavilion. So the sign said Rapunzel's first, Ariel's later. So we had to factor like everything that we did around that. Um, and we made it work because we saw both of them. So it was really, really good. Um, it was also our last night there um, because Monday we'd be travelling home at about five-ish, so it's our last night, so we thought we'd also finish it with the illuminations again, which we did. Um, we did see a lot more characters that day, I'm sure, but um, they're not on my phone, like my folders, I think they're on Hades, um, so I'll double check that, uh, but look out for the photos on Facebook, uh, she said she'd take me all of them. So, I have lost count of what I then next bought, but I'm pretty sure it was this. And you know one of my favourite films that is not princess related is Peter Pan. Um, and I've, I've had these Tinkerbell earrings since California. And I bought a Tinkerbell necklace. She's so, so cute. Um, I don't really know if it's focusing very well. You can't really see her face. There you go. I think. She's actually adorable. I love her. Um, and they had so many different types of ones with her with like coloured diamonds or doing like a different swirl with the one. I thought, no, I want the plain one. Like it's so shiny, it's so sparkly. She's so pretty. Um, I just had to get her. And so then when I met Peter Pan, who was actually that same day, I think, um, I was wearing her. And I showed him my necklace because he was asking me like my best bit about the film. Um, and I told him it's probably when uh, they rescued Tinkerbell um, from snuffing out the light. And I showed him my necklace and his face, we've got a photo of him just doing this. Like, oh, it's incredible. Um, 
so yes, so that was all the jewellery. Um, so then, what I was just explaining to you about with these in blue outfits, instead of doing blue outfit ones, they did. Now this is why mum gave me a funny look, okay? It is called Steampunk. That is, that is the name of the design. Steampunk brand. Um, and I don't really know if it's magician-like or not, because minis, I'm not really sure. I'm, I prefer Mickey, if I'm 100% like honest, I prefer his outfit to hers. But again, I couldn't just get one without the other. And these ones say 25 on their tag. Whereas um, the grey and white ones don't, obviously. What is really annoying is they don't say it on their feet. And the California ones do. And these are also smaller than the California ones. He doesn't sit down. So... Still trying to get my head around them. I think once I've like properly unpacked them, the tags are staying on these ones um, because it's the only way to tell that they are the 25th anniversary. I think I will get used to them. I think I just need to... Like, they look really, really nice in their parade outfit when I saw it. But I'm just... I don't know. I'm getting there, I think. Like, it just needs a little bit more convincing. Um, but, I mean, they're really soft. They're really soft. They're a good size, and I do really like Mickey. Um, because he does actually kind of look like the one in the magician show, but it is still a completely different outfit. So regardless, I bought those two. Um, now, before I went out there, I've been following like quite a few people uh, on Instagram and stuff like that, so I knew of like a few things that I wanted to buy. One of the things was... Um, like shoe and hat Christmas tree decorations and they would be made around characters and I really really wanted the Ariel and Rapunzel ones but they sold out it wasn't that they're no longer making them it's just they've sold out they've got all this stuff in at the moment and they won't be getting more till Christmas so I was really glad that I couldn't get one because I had also showed Hayley that they do a Jasmine one she fell in love with it and she was like I want it but we couldn't get it so that was another bummer. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to get was a 25th anniversary special edition Mickey Sorcerer. So they had a deal on in certain shops where if you spent 30 or more, instead of him being 19.99, you could get him 9.99. And again, it's a plush. So five plushes in total. I know it's a bit excessive. Um, but I really, really wanted him. And on Friday, I went to buy him along with... I went to buy him along with these, I think. Um, got to the till, and the guy told me that they'd sold out. My face dropped. I was like, you cannot be serious. He was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, um, They've just become really popular overnight. Uh, and we're hoping to get a few more in, but we're not 100% sure how many more we're going to produce. Um, and I was like, right, okay, fine, do you know where else I can get them? He was like, you can try some other shops, but again, like, it could be challenging. Um, so we went, because Hayley wanted one too, but she was like, I'm not as fast as you are by the sounds of it, like, I don't mind missing it. Um, we went to a couple of other shops, just couldn't see them. Went over to the other park, did some rides there, and then as you go out, there's a, a like, a really big shop. And we kind of walked through that, and then just on the till, I happened to see the advertisement saying, you know, get this offer. And then on the advertisement was a Mickey, and I legged it over to the man, and I was like, excuse me, do you have any more of these? And he was like, uh, no, we don't, we're down to our last one. I was like, well, can I buy him? And he was like, do you want to buy anything else? I was like, no, I just want him, because I'd already bought the thing that I thought was going to cost me the most money, which was these two, to get me over the 30. And um, so he got a little bit confused that I just wanted this Mickey. Um, and I tried to explain to him I'd done all my shopping already, but that was unavailable, but I do still want him. Um, and so he bent down and got one, like, all packaged up. And I was like, oh, so wait, so is this display one for sale? 
and again it took a little bit of like persuasion um but he said yes like it can be and so I jumped on it I was like yeah we'll, we'll have both please and again he looked at me really weirdly and I was like no one's for my sister who's back there it's not both for me um and it was literally their last two and I heard the woman behind me and she asked for one and um he said that they sold out so thankfully Haley had come up to find me so I did give her her one but I did feel a bit bad just taking two but it did he cancelled out and he's so gorgeous he's in I've never actually seen Fantasia but I think I've seen clips of it but I've never watched the full thing so it's going to be my mission to watch it um so normally he's in like his red robe like it's exactly the same but this is a change colour and I actually prefer him in the blue I'm not I'm not that keen on the red he's so soft and he's so cute I'm just so thankful I got him um so he stayed with me um on the last day because he wouldn't actually fit in the case like there was no room for him so he stayed in my handbag like with his head kind of propped up and everything um and we met Mickey again on the last day and so he saw this one was in my bag and I got him out for him and he was holding him and we took photos and it was really cute um but again another bit bad luck because he was in my case because his head was sticking out we got through the um Eurostar like security and I had to put the bag on the conveyor belt the bloody man put the bag down and his face came all black the other end and I was like oh my god what did you do to him and the man just looked at me as if I was insane I gave him some mega eagles so I've cleaned him up as best as I can and I don't actually think you'd notice that like you can't really tell um which is so good because I was like I went to hell and back to try and get this Mickey um I didn't want one off of eBay that was like second hand or anything like I wanted my own one um as it happened I couldn't choose the best looking face but I think he's got an okay face now um and again his tag doesn't say 25th anniversary but it does say exclusive to Disneyland Paris so he's gonna remain tagged unfortunately um but he's still really super soft so that's fine um so also on that day or one of the days in the other park we kind of established there wasn't as much that we wanted to do in there because there was like the Hollywood Tower of Terror um which is like a drop one don't like drops uh, there was a rock and roller coaster that went upside down um, and I kind of asked Hayley if I could do Crush's coaster um, because I've been on it once and I actually really did enjoy it I did tell her it goes fast and it spins as you go round but you don't drop essentially um, I might have like forgotten that you do slightly drop it wasn't as big a drop and it was kind of like a slope it wasn't like that um, but anyway, that was probably, and I told her it was going to be a really long queue, like it's quite a popular ride, and she was happy to wait for it. Um, we waited for about 70 minutes, got to the front, got in the pod, they put the barriers down, then the lights came up, and we were like, what is going on? And there was a tanway saying, we're really sorry, but the ride has temporarily come to a halt, please could everybody exit their tubs, people are coming over to get you, and could you just like either go to the queue or leave the building um so the guy came over to us and he was like look i'm really sorry there's been a bit of an issue would you be all right just waiting back in the queue and so at that point Haley was like slightly freaking out because she was like i don't like rides that break down um like surely that means that it's not safe um and so we waited we said we'd wait 10 minutes to like give it its time because sod's law would leave and then they'd get it off and running that'd be a whole load of queuing just wasted um, after 10 minutes they did get it up and running we got on it I said she hated it um, she it wasn't that she hated hated it um, like she seemed to you know pleasurely scream whilst we were on it but um, she said for for the queue that there was she didn't think it was worth it um, so I thought that was like you know fair enough I thanked her for doing it with me I said I'd go alone and she could like look in shops um but she she said she'd give it a try and she did um so I'm proud of her for doing that uh 
We also went on Ratatouille. We went on a Star Wars simulation. Um, we went on Buzz, uh, which is like a shooting arcadey thing. Um, I won first time, she won second time. That's a really good ride. Um, and we also made it back onto Peter Pan because that was up and running, um, which was really, really good too. So, we've done plushes, we've done jewellery, we're now on to ornaments, um, of which I bought four, because well, why not? Um, so because, oh, sorry, cramp, because I'm uh, aerial, I really wanted an aerial ornament. They didn't have any aerial ornaments that I liked. They had a couple, admittedly, but it was her in like, a really random dress and just didn't look nice, didn't make any sense and um, so I wasn't, I wasn't very pleased <laughs> so oh my horrible noise horrible noise right I have there I have it up, bear with me because I think I need to go and investigate in some scissors found them Okay, so they didn't have any aerial souvenirs, so instead I went a little bit Rapunzel mad. Um, oh no. Another like amazing thing about Disney, like when you're buying stuff, is they appreciate you like taking your time over things. So with all the plushes, the ones that I could, I was kind of rifling through trying to find the one with like the best face and the best like clothing, making sure nothing was stuck out and stuff. I did the exact same with the ornaments as well. I was like, it's the paintwork chip, so is anything missing? Um, do they all have their eyes, ears and hands, like things like that. Um, and the woman was really happy to just unbox everything and show me. Um, so, first thing I bought was the storybook ornament of the lantern scene uh, in Tangled. So on the back it looks like a book that's open, says Tangled, and then halfway through the book it shows this thing. So it's 3D, and it's really, really cute. The face is all there, and I just loved it. And it's one that, again, I've known about for a while, but I hadn't bought it. Um, but seeing it in person just made me want it even more. And it is quite small as well, like... Yeah! Okay. No. Yeah, they should be fine. So yeah, really, really tough with this. Um, and I know they do an aerial one where she is kind of draping herself over the statue of Eric, uh, where she sings "Part of Your World." So two of my favourite songs, two of the best scenes. Um, definitely happy and chuffed about that. Um, see, now I've just got stuff everywhere, um, my room is such a mess. So I then bought, uh, in one of the photos that you will see soon, um, is of me in one of the stores, one of the many, many stores, um, surrounded by stitch plushes, and I was really tempted to buy one, I really was, and I didn't know what size, um, but because I bought so many Mickey and Minis, I was like, there is no way I can justify to my mother another plush, and she doesn't like Stitch, um, she finds him a bit weird, 
which is fine, he's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but I had to buy something stitch related purely because he was in the parade and when I saw him come out I didn't know he was in it. When I saw him come out, I A squealed and B we then went and asked the nearest cast member, is he a character me? And he's not I was really gutted. I was like, You've got the bodysuit just stick him on a pole and let people meet him because that would be amazing. Um, but to commemorate that, I bought the Brito of him. Um, he is truly adorable. Now, I've got my Mickey and Minnie ones of these um, purely as a, a collection. I don't intend on buying like thousands more Brito. He is the only other one I wanted. He's huge. He is huge compared to the other ones. Um, but he is so, so cute. Painted phenomenally. Um, I just had to have him. Uh, I don't know where he's going to sit. He might have space over here. Maybe. I'll find room. I will find room. But I'm extremely happy to get him. Um, okay. It's still on Sunday, by the way. We've then got Monday to go. But it's fine. We are down to our last two. Um, so, being a Disney hotel, uh, they actually have a shop, which is pretty cool. And we had to walk past our shop every time to get to our hotel. Like, not our hotel, but our room. Um, so, we had to go past the shop, get the lift, go up. And on our first day, we checked in. Um, we walk past the shop and I just spotted this no intention of getting it at the time and I said oh Hayley isn't that amazing I'm covered in styrofoam and and I looked looked at it every day as many times like probably up to 10 times before buying it and every time I walked past it I was like I have to get it I have to get it so on the last day knowing I still have money left I got it and again they didn't have the aerial one but they had the Rapunzel one, and oh my good god, she is truly beautiful. Um, just the detail that goes into her dress, like, and her hair, I'm just in love. So Rapunzel, I kind of went to Paris knowing that Rapunzel was a close favourite, but this merchandise may even make her my favourite. Um, so like I said, they didn't have anything of Ariel that I particularly wanted. We even liked. Um, we got to the station on Monday, um, and we were really, really early. And we walked past the shop. Guess what they were selling? The aerial version of this, and the aerial version of the book. And I had ten euros. And both of these things probably were about sixty. Um, and I was not impressed. I was like, why wasn't that in the park? Like. So, knowing they existed, on the Eurostar ride home, I was googling to see if I could get the aerial versions from Amazon, and I can. So, when I get back from Lanzarote, I will be purchasing both, just because I have to have the aerial one, um, just to match. Uh, and I don't want them to like sell out or anything, but I don't want to order them yet, because uh, we go so soon, I don't want them to and deliver it and be unsuccessful. So, the absolute last thing I bought um, was again very spontaneous and all down to Hayley. She bought a Mickey version um, and I I didn't really want the Mickey version. I saw this. Yeah, oh, well done. Isn't she gorgeous? So, it says Disneyland 25. It's the blue star, which is the icon. And it's Tinkerbell sitting cross-legged, pulling her kind of pouty face, which she does so well at Wendy. Um, I absolutely love her. And it's so small that it can go literally anywhere in my room. I wasn't fussed as to where I was going to put her, because I knew she'd fit. I just need to find a nice safe spot um, and it's quite ironic because the last time I went to 
Paris is with um, uni, Becky, and I'm 100% sane, he's a bit dusty, I bought this one with Becky, um, so I've got a newer and improved glass, and I'm, I don't know if I'll keep this one, but he's cute, but it does just say Disneyland Paris, it doesn't say anything special, um, we did meet Tigger, actually, we met Tigger and we met Piglet, and Eeyore, Eeyore was adorable, um, but no poo, he was in the parade, uh, like the show, but he wasn't, he wasn't available as a character meet, which is a bit random, but never mind. So that is all my unboxing done, I now have boxes up to here besides, and I have stuff over here now, still got stuff over there, still got stuff over there, so I'm sorry this video is so long, um, I also think I'm getting a little bit of cold, my throat has been really sore recently, I've been struggling to like cough, it hurts, um, I'm gonna get some lunch, and then I need to check my room because it's atrocious, I hope you're well, um, I'll upload this one as soon as I get a chance, like I said Hayley's photos should be coming to Facebook tonight, um, I'll probably post a few of my favourites from hers onto Instagram as well, um, oh, another thing, that I didn't actually get in Disney, um, I got it from Hayley, uh, so it was a reduced price, it wasn't the full price, but it is a Mickey Pandora ring, so it's a Mickey head in a heart with gems, um, so she bought herself a Mickey ring while we were out there, one that she wanted a lot more than this one, and she was just gonna give this one away, and I was like, well, do you know what, I love it, and it fits, but when it's warm, I cannot get it off, <laughs> which is interesting, um, but yeah, so she bought a ring, first she buy, she bought like jersey style plushes, um, that's 25 on, um, what else did she buy, she bought tons of stuff, I'll have to get her to take a photo, I'll get her to take a photo and then I'll let you know in the next bit, but anyway, I'm sorry this one's been so long, I do need to go and get something to drink and eat, and I will see you soon. Hope you're well. <laughs>